Hello Bite Shifters. Welcome to Bite Shift. So today we are going to understand the configurations that are needed to create a tab navigator. And this example that we are going to do is we are going to have two screens and we are going to create a bottom tab navigator with two icons and once you press on a certain icon it will highlight that um, the active tab and the content will load accordingly so this is the demo that we have set out to do and uh, so without much ado let's install the package react navigation if you have not done it and once you do it all you need to do is add the bottom tab bottom tabs as an extension so uh, just copy it and get it installed in the command line so all you need to do is paste it in your terminal and it will uh, go ahead and install the packages for you so once you do it the next thing that we should look forward to is how can we configure the tab navigator so like we did the draw navigation this is much more similar to it so all we need to do is get the name of the route that we are going to use for different tabs say one is home one is settings and we have to pass the component that corresponds to each tab and that's it that's what would be essential to get our tab navigator working so if you have uh, if you're seeing this video from uh, without going to back to previous videos uh, we can go along with that also and I'm going to just I'm just going to clean it up and just do the tab navigation demo in this video so let's copy the import statement and paste it inside our app.js so we paste it so like we did stack drawer and this is bottom tabs which is actually the tab navigator so if you have not used these two navigators earlier this is not required for this demo all you need to have is the native react navigation uh, package from npm so that would be there in the documentation and also in the description video uh, description link so you can see that uh, the installation instruction there so this is uh, all we need to in import and second thing we would need to do is we all we need to do is create this object called tab and similar to how we created drawer and stack will reuse uh, similar logic so this is how we import it and drawer routes we are not going to use we are going to have a separate um, separate component and that's going to be let's copy the configuration default configuration that is in the demo so let's copy it here I pasted it this is nothing special all we need to do is say this is our okay tab routes okay we already have defined the navigation container we don't need to let's redo it again so let's remove the navigation container okay and we're going to have two screens one is going to be screen one and this is our screen two screen 1 and screen 2 we are just pointing the component part to the actual component that we have and if you have not seen it if you are seeing this video for the first time uh, this is just a simple blank component let me show you this is a simple blank component with the name just the name of the screen and that's pretty much it so this is the configuration and we're going to use the tab thing so the tab has navigator and inside of it it has screens so each screen has a name and the component that corresponds to the screen so this is done and what we need to do is here we don't we let's see we want to have the splash we have to have the login but this is uh, coming from the stack navigator demo so I just don't want to overload this demo with stack navigator demo so let's comment it out and let's um, 
let's use this tab route here so let's simply call this tab route here so tab routes okay this is what we will require and let's save it and let's see how it looks so after you install it you just need to run an uh, npm uh, like uh, that command is npx react native run android and once you do it you should see some, something like this so this is our routing demo and we should see the screen come up so the first screen that we are interested to see is a simple tab, tab navigator screen so here we have screen 1 and screen 2 and once you press on it you can switch back and forth between the two tabs so this is done now as part of this demo let's go ahead and expand the scope and have the icons because most of the real world applications that you're going to see has the icon also so suppose this is screen 1 so this can be a home this can be a setting okay so once you tap on it it will change the background color of the icon also so this is pretty much a standard stuff so let's try to uh, get there okay so for that let's see the documentation what react navigation has done so this tab navigator needs to get a special prop screen options and here what we do is we have the if condition that if the route name matches home we use a certain icon name okay and if um, if it doesn't then we use the other so this is pretty much the thing and this focus is basically uh, what is uh, getting passed along so focused will be a boolean if it is true then you need to maybe show the background and uh, the color of the tab uh, the icon in a certain um, in a certain text color so that's pretty much the use of focused so if it is focused i show this icon and if it is not i show this one okay similar to that we reuse the same logic and apply it for settings also so we have screen one and screen two uh, irrespective of the name let's try to achieve it so one important thing which needs to be covered here we have to install some font package okay so the famous one is um, react native vector icons yeah so go ahead and install this package so I'll tell you the instructions step by step how you need to install it so the first thing is npm install which is the standard stuff and you would also need to do a linking okay react uh, like npx react native link that is the command okay which you see in the screen so this is the command that we're going to use so let's go ahead and install it in the terminal I've already done it so this is how I did it so what I did was a react native link but before that you have to install the package itself so the package name is already shown here in the documentation npm install hyphen hyphen save react native web vector icons this is the name of the package so we go ahead and install it and if you get a proper installation you should be fine and you don't need to go to the manual installation steps because you are already if you're seeing the video today and using the react native version greater than 0.6 then already we don't need to do a manual linking it is auto linked thanks to react native community who are working very hard to make it seamless and make it very close to javascript rather than the native android and ios so thanks to those guys and if you install it you should now get to import it so how do we import the icon so let's import font awesome okay font awesome is awesome so we're going to use it and 
here is a step how can we import font awesome so let's go ahead and paste it here good and the next thing that we should do now is let's go ahead and actually there is something wrong here we wanted react native font awesome so let's copy this one okay and let's paste it this is done we're going to use this icon package and the tab configurations are here so let's copy the screen options and we will change it to suit our needs so tab navigator and we paste it as we already know we have two screens called screen 1 and screen 2 so let's change this condition screen 1 and this is screen 2 if it is focused let's, uh, let's use a icon name called home okay if you want to check out uh, the different options that you can get so font awesome you're going to get the list of all the icons that font awesome has um, let's see the icons in our case let's use a uh, home icon only okay uh, this is it this is the icon we want and for settings let's use an icon like a cog that's pretty much a standard setting icon we have been seeing so let's use cog so here we're going to use a cog okay and here I'm also going to use the same icon what essentially you should do is um, this is a solid icon filled with the color this can be an outline of that icon so this is like the active and the inactive icon that we are going to point at so this is also going to be cog for now because I have to search for a different icon with the outline only and this returns an icon from iron icons but we have imported font awesome because it has a lot of other options that you can use so let's call it icon because that is what we have imported right so this icon is what needs to come here the icon name can be the dynamic thing that we have set the size and the color okay let that be a default value which is passed as a prop to the tab navigator so let's save it and other thing that you should see is uh, the active tint color is a red color close to tomato and the inactive is gray so this is going to be respected if we have done it right great this has auto refresh right this has a reload uh, we have enabled auto reload so uh, this is it this is the demo and this is a screen one and if we go to screen two we see a screen two I should have ideally done this as a setting screen this is a home screen but I'm reusing the code from the last video so this is it you can now use this as a tab navigator for your app and one thing is you can have a lot of control if you control the tab navigation props so if you go through the documentation you can find it out what other things you can do you can add badges right what are badges badges are nothing but this three you are seeing here right so this three is a badge that you might need to need to show your user say one of the tab is uh, the notification count and you have a badge saying three it means three notifications are unread so you go there and read it and it resets itself right so that is how you can get a control over that also 
okay this is how you do it and if you need a certain use case for your application you're developing so you can comment that in the, the in the comment section and we would be happy to make a video on that so that's pretty much it and if you like the video go ahead and share it with your peers and give us support by liking it and subscribing our channel so goodbye from byteshift for now thank you